Ravana was one of Sita's suitors. He wanted Sita for himself, and he failed the test that that Rama passed, uh, which gave him Sita's hand. So Ravana was stewing on this. Ravana was was truly the most powerful being in the world, in the universes. He had all the knowledge of the Vedas. He was a, a, an incredibly advanced yogi. He was he had the cities, the powers, spiritual powers, psychic powers. He had he was a master of mantra. They say he was a master of mantra, tantra, and yantra. He he was a complete mahasiddha, except that all the power went for the service, not of his heart, not of his not of compassion, but to the service of his ego. So he was horrible, and um, uh, he wanted Sita to be his wife, one of his wives. He had thousands of wives, but he wanted Sita <laughs> to be his main main queen. He, and, and and you know you can see the reason of it because because he had everything, but Sita. It was, the, it was the Kundalini. Sita is the, the Shakti, the, the power of God, the universal power. And he, Ravana wanted that. Of course he wanted that, because all he had was material. And he wanted that, but he couldn't have that. But, so what he did was um, he devised a way to kidnap Sita. He asked his uncle. His uncle was a magician. And with these demons, magicians were, it was not just sleight of hand, it was true manipulation of, of, of uh, energies. So he asked his uncle to, to disguise himself as a magical deer. And here's what happened. Ram and Sita and Lakshman were in the forest. They were happy. This deer came jumping across the, the, their little clearing. And this deer had magical colors, magical rainbow colors that, that kept shifting and turning and, uh, and the deer was dancing and Sita saw this deer and she said, oh God, that deer is so beautiful. I would really love to have that deer as my pet. Rama, could you catch that deer for me? And suddenly, you know, uh, a little seed of desire was planted in her which clouded her judgment. Rama didn't want, want to get leave her to chase after the deer and he said they didn't think why do we need a deer you know uh, <laughs> uh, and um, but Sita really really please please I don't got anything here just living in the old forest please just a deer so Rama chases after the deer and the deer is really fast and it's jumping and jumping and it's leading but before Rama before Rama um, leaves to chase the deer, he says to his brother Lakshmana, Lakshmana, do not leave Sita aside. Whatever happens, don't leave Sita alone here in the forest. Don't, don't, don't. Because over the, this is on the 13th year of their journey. Over those 13 years, they had lots of small wars with demons, and Rama and Lakshmana had to fight a lot of demons. The forest was not safe for her alone. So anyway, Rama's chasing after the deer, went deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the forest, till Rama suddenly realized that this is not a deer. This is a demon in disguise. And Rama takes his arrow, shoots it into the demon's heart. I mean, yeah, into the deer slash demon's heart. Now the demon, just when he is about to die, he imitates Rama's voice. And he screams, Sita, Lakshman, help me, I've been hurt. And then he dies. But this voice is so loud that back in the hermitage, Lakshman and Sita hear this. So they think it's Rama calling for them. And Sita says, Lakshman, you've got to go help Rama. You've got to go help him. Well, he's hurt, he's calling us. And Lakshman said, that can't be Rama. Rama is the source of all creation. How could he be hurt? It can't happen. But Sita said, no. Sita went into a panic. And she said, it's on Rama. It's Rama. It's Rama. He's hurt. He needs you. He needs you. Lakshmana, why aren't you going to go help him? And Lakshmana said, well, Rama told me not to leave you. And Sita says, Lakshmana, <laughs> do you have second intentions? You just have been waiting for Rama to go? Waiting for Rama to be hurt so you can have your way with him? Whoa, and that stung Lakshmana deeply. Said, oh, Mother Sita, that could not be true, but I will go help him as you demand. But he made a, a circle around her. 
in the ground and he said, uh, whatever happens, no matter what happens, don't step over the circle and don't let anybody else step inside of the circle. And he ran into the forest to save Rama. So just at that moment, an old, 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 holy man, so old, comes wandering from the forest. You know, he's what, his back is bent, he's talking with the king, and he's saying, Om, Hari Om, Om, Hari Om, I'm so hungry, Hari Om. Oh, Lord, I spend all my time meditating on thee. Please, can I have something to eat, Lord? Oh, I see. A home, a hut. Oh, no! <laughs> he's trembling and he's shaking. Is there anybody in there? I am so hungry. And Sita steps outside of the hut. You know, she's not outside the circle, but she's outside the hut. She says... Hello, sir. May I help you? May I, may I assist you in any way? And he said, Hari Om. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I haven't eaten in days and I spend my 24 hours a day in meditation in God. Dear God. But I just could use a little rice and perhaps a little milk. So anyway, you know, he's really, he's really laying it on thick. And, and Sita, of course, you know, she's the mother of the universe, and she's, her heart melts for this man, for this man, and she says, um, I'll get you some rice, and I'll get you some milk. So she gets into her, her house, and she comes out with some rice and, and some milk, and um, she, she says, I, did, I can't step out of this circle. But if you just put your hand there, I'll fill it with rice. And then I'll give you this cup of milk. She says, oh, thank you. She comes up to the edge of the circle and gives him the milk. And he grabs her arm. And he pulls her across the circle. And the circle lights up into fire. And he suddenly is no longer an old man, but he's Ravana. And, she's, and, he, and he's going, ha, 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 I got you, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and she's crying, Rama, Rama, help me! And he takes her in, in his in his twenty arms and <laughs> gets on his chariot, and they fly off into the sky. And he abducts her. She's screaming, 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 screaming. And at that moment, this great vulture, the king of the birds, named Jatayu, who is a devotee of Rama. Comes, comes flying out of the heavens and, and, and says, Ravana, put her down, put her down. This is Sita's wife. I mean, Rama's wife. This is Sita, Rama's wife. And, and Ravana laughs at Jatayu and pulls out his sword and slashes him in the throat. And Jatayu drops to earth and dying. And, and then Rama and Lakshmana come out of the forest and they find Jatayu. And Jatayu is, is on his last breath and is lying in a pool of blood. And... And Rama and Lakshma says, Oh, Jatayu, what happened? And Jatayu says, I just saw Sita being kidnapped by this man, this demon. And I tried to save him, but I was not strong enough. I failed you, I failed you, I failed you. And he dies. So Rama and Lakshma, well, Rama is suddenly separated from Sita. And, and he is... You know, we we read and we understand that Rama is God in human form, but suddenly he forgets every bit of his quote divinity unquote, and he becomes paralyzed and lost in the anguish of separation from his beloved. His his he his his heart is ripped out from him. He he says, "I cannot, I cannot move without my seat." And his despair was so great, so great. Even his brother Lakshman said, Rama, we must, let's get up. We must find her. We must do what we can to find her. We can't just sit here. And Rama said, there is no life. He was, you know, he was so, so, so distressed.